Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to give you an overview of five Google Slides editing tips that pretty much any student could use. So let's start with the basics here on our first slide, and we're going to change up the background on the slide. So click on the slide, select Change Background, and as you can see, we can change the color. Also choose gradient, and let's choose a nice gradient here of a nice light green. And now we can choose add to theme. If we choose add to theme, this background will apply to all slides in our slide show, or we can apply it just to this slide. Now we can also change that background by using an image. And we can upload an image, pull one from Google Drive, uh, pull one from our Google Photos, or even do a search. I'm going to upload. I'm going to pull in a picture. Let's choose this picture here. And now it's applied. Our next thing that we're going to look at is image editing. Since we're on the topic of images, let's go ahead and add a new slide. So right click and select new slide. And I'm going to change this layout to a blank layout. Let's look at using images. So I'm going to upload an image. In this case, I'll use this picture. And let's now resize that a little bit. But I'm also going to now crop the image. So let's click on Crop Image. And I'm going to crop out some of the skyline and crop out part of this left hand side of the image and now that area is selected let's click off and that's the only part that's left while I still have this border highlighted let's go ahead and add a border weight to it and change that border color make it black or any other color that we like let's do purple now, if I wanted to do more with this image, I can go up here and apply a shape around the border. And now that's an image with rounded borders around it. Let's click and drag and center that back up. And now let's take a look at the image and use some of the other features that are available here. I'm going to choose my format options and we can change the color by applying a filter. And so now I have that filter on it or I could say no recoloring. On my adjustments I can adjust the transparency. So if this image was overlaid on top of another I might adjust the transparency to have the images blend together. And we can adjust our brightness and contrast from here as well. We can select Drop Shadow. And we can play with shadows in the background. And you'll see that changing on the slide as well. Now let's add a new slide. And in this case we're going to look at word art and special characters. So we're going to go up to the insert option and let's go in and choose word art.
we'll type in simply this is word art but you could type whatever you'd like to have displayed on here and word art is different than just inserting a font although it is based on your fonts so let's choose Georgia and now when I click and drag the corners we'll see how that word art changes we can change the fill color we can change the border color we can change the border thickness and even the border style now word art as you can see when I click and drag automatically is resizing to stay on that one line as opposed to standard font which may uh, insert a line break now let's say I want to write some font in here I'm now going to go to the insert menu let's choose special characters and in special characters you can look at categories and then choose the category that you want and there's a category called emojis and let's insert the little monkey and now our little monkey character is inserted let's change the size of the font and our emoji changes as well let's say this is a monkey when I change that font size again the monkey also changes now the next thing we're going to do is look at how do we quickly align things on our screen so I've selected this text box and I want to now make sure that that's centered on my page so just go to arrange and let's center it horizontally now let's center on page vertically and now it's automatically centered onto the page and that's just a quick and easy way to Make sure your things are lined up on your slides. I'm going to change this background back to our original white background. And now we're going to take a look at transitions and animations. So let's say we want to add a transition between slide one and slide two. Select transition. And we're going to say slide in from the right in this case, and let's apply that to all the slides. So every slide when we transition will slide from the right. Now on this slide over here, I've just selected this as word art. I still have this transition and animation page open. I'm going to select an object. I'm going to animate this to fly in from the bottom when I click. And I'll do the same here. But this one, I'm going to have that one fade in on click as well. Now let's play those and see how this works. So I'll click and click and click. So those are five Google Slides editing tips and tricks. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.